Uh, yes, a very good evening. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the second hour of Truth Express Radio 90.7 Truth FM. Of course, with me, Daniel Anunda and Wavinia Wanyasa. Okay, 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 Wavinia. Okay, Wavinia. No, let, let's do it again. Okay, good evening. Thank you. All right, one, two, three, go. A very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us once again for the second hour of Truth Express Radio 90.7 Truth FM. My name is Daniel Anunda. And of course, I'm a king's mother, Miss Wavinia So blessed to be here this evening. Hoping that you're having yourself a lovely one. Glad that you have made us the station of choice and, of course, the show of choice. And of course, as I told you earlier on, we are having guests in the studio. Yes, sir. And they, there's a great conversation lined up ahead for us in this particular hour. Mm-hmm. And if you want to contribute anything, our text line is 21907. And of course, you can find us on our Facebook page, 90.7 Truth FM official fan page. Yes. And I don't know whether our, our, our guests have a, a handle of Facebook, Twitter, you know. First of all, have you after, done after, the introduction? After, after, after the, well. you know, you're going to introduce them. You're going to introduce them. Huh? <laughs> all right. Yeah. Kabla <laughs> hani bigger my coffee. Kabla hani bigger with my coffee. Well, of course, our guests in the studio today, this evening, is Mr. and Mrs. I don't know whether that's a proper combination. He's about to say Mr. and Mrs. William O'Toole. That is very correct. That is that very is the correct. the traditional way that people for a thousand years have been Fantastic. calling one another. So. And I love this because you, 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 you know you're from the West, so it is expected for the Africans to do that more as opposed to you guys. But it's great that you actually <laughs> embrace that culture. Yeah, and, you know, uh, William will be telling us more about what he is here. And I, what he's here to do. So, just introduce yourself afresh, as, as if I, I, don't, sure. I do not know you. Let's know who William is uh, and who Jane is. Th- no problem. I, I normally go by my biblical name, Jonathan okay. O'Toole. So, oh, I'm Jonathan. Oh, I'm, yeah, O'Toole. For, for the longest time, I've called you O'Toole. Well, that's okay. My daughter Agnes and my daughter Brenda, people are also calling them O'Toole because it, it sounds like that Lua name. Yeah. yeah. But it's actually an Irish name, O'Toole. All but right. I don't mind. O'Toole is okay. All right. Uh, I'm from ProjectC.com. My mm-hmm. wife is called Jane Wamboy mm-hmm. O'Toole. Yeah. And uh, Project C is an acronym. C is S-E-E for Stop Exporting Evil. Right. And that imperative statement is directed specifically at my own country, USA. Yeah. Or their government. Mm-hmm. And also the other Western and European governments, mm-hmm. which, are, which are specifically trying to export the evil. Uh, we focus mostly on abortion mm-hmm. and gayism. Mm. That they're trying to push through NGOs, mm-hmm. through funding, through mm-hmm. other... Uh, ways on to not only Kenya, East Africa, and other yeah. African countries. All African yeah. countries. And you know, that, ju- that just takes me to the next question. What is this that they're seeing about Africa that necessitates the need to push the necessary, you know, the, the evil, right. like abortion right. and gayism? I've never understood. They're here, they're plagued into several <coughs> African countries, and they're pushing the LGBT agenda, yeah. they're pushing abortion, they're pushing, the other day we were debating over the CSC, mm-hmm. uh, the Comprehensive Sex Education. Right. Right. That incorporates all these things that we're talking about. So, what is it primarily about Africa? And, they're, and they're framing the debates. They have the money to be able to come in and ah, frame the debates. So yeah. they, they create the topics of discussion, which mm-hmm. m- most of the time probably wouldn't even be a topic of discussion. Right. But what is it about Africa? First of all, our website is Project C S E E dot com. Okay. I don't Project know if I said C- that. Yeah. S E E dot com. And we'll be updating it over the next right. few months. And mm-hmm. even on our Facebook <coughs> page. All right. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. But I think what it is about Africa is demographics. It's demographics, demographics, demographics. Mm-hmm. And also because Africa is, uh, I guess aside from Asia, the second largest Christian, growing Christian demographic right. in, in the world, if you discount Korea mm-hmm. and, uh, and China. Mm-hmm. So the West, you know, no one could have destroyed us with a direct military attack. Mm-hmm either Europe or USA, but we have destroyed ourselves demographically with wow. these this uh, sexual confusions mm-hmm. and abortion mm-hmm. and the widespread embracing of, of contraception as mm-hmm. a way of life. And mm-hmm. we so the especially in Europe but also yeah. in US, the old people are outnumbering people, especially among the European um, what were the majorities in Europe, Mm -hmm. um, the old people are outnumbering the young people. Yeah. You know, they're not having enough children. Yeah. So even if you have money, even if you have technology, there's a threat from those people who are reproducing, who are obeying God's commandment, be fruitful and multiply. Those people are in competition from them, they think, uh, with them Mm -hmm. for resources, for resources. I I think it's also, yeah, I think it's also why they assassinated Muammar Gaddafi for the same reason, because they don't want Africans to come together Mm -hmm. and develop their own resources. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways that they can stop that and curb that demographic 
growth is to convince Africans to embrace these confusing wow. sexual perversions oh and to kill their own children through my abortion goodness, my yeah. goodness, in the name of women's in liberation. In the name of women's liberation and yeah. women's rights. It's I a big satanic lie. It is, it yeah. is. And you'll be taking us through that a little bit. One sure. of the reasons I really want you to talk to Africans is for some particular reason, we kind of believe that when a guy from the West or people from the West come in and talk to us, then it's authentic. And these are the same <laughs> people who are coming in and lying and telling us about abortion. Mm. So and, and, and gaze him and all that. So when you step in and you're saying, listen, this evil is happening in the West, but I'm telling you, do not export, do not import it to your country owing to A, B, C, D, such yeah. facts. So people will listen more. People will be more keen to take it from you sure. as opposed to me or Daniel Hanuda. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that may be a little a little bit tragic, but I'm, I'm willing to accept that. Yeah. Uh, for example, Jesus himself was a Jew, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And he would have been of the camp of the Pharisees. They mm -hmm. were opposed to the Sadducees. The Sadducees said there were no, was no resurrection from the dead. Yeah. Yeah. So he was, he was a Jew and a, and a, it, within the camp of the Pharisees. But he's the one mm -hmm. who said, and Paul also, uh, very much agreeing with him, beware the leaven of the Pharisees. Wow. Beware that leaven of the Pharisees. And that's what I'm saying. The testimony that I bring mm -hmm. is of decades. I'm uh, nearing 40 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, decades of trying to fight abortion in the United States and in the West and failing. Mm. And the reason I'm failing is because of that leaven, and I've been failing and we've all been failing in yeah. the West, yeah. it's because of that so-called leaven of the Pharisees. Oh, mm -hmm. The way that they've been fighting has mm. not been real fighting. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've been yeah. capitulating to those people. Right. And at the, during the, the sad thing is that during the same time frame yeah. we've watched a much smaller minority than the Christians mm -hmm. I'm talking about the Christians who talking about the Christians who are against these things mm -hmm. a much smaller minority mm -hmm. in the US and in Europe the what we call the gays I don't even like that word but this this movement to normalize sexual perversion yeah it's a tiny 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 minority yeah, who is yeah. but because they are um, courageous in their yeah. own mm -hmm. dark satanic and way and loud yeah. Yeah. and pushy yeah. and insistent and well financed yeah. as well uh -huh. well, yeah. financed. well financed but in reality the Christians have money too but they have allowed themselves to be overpowered mm -hmm. so one of the main things I want to emphasize is mm -hmm. don't if you want to successfully resist these horrible things and yeah. let me tell you there is nothing as painful that I can imagine mm -hmm. very few things as watching your own culture, yeah. your own people, yeah. mm -hmm. be swallowed up yeah. by these confusions. It's very so painful. If you don't want to repeat what I've gone through, mm. I've gone through something like Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, watching these people, I called my brothers and my sisters, no. turn around mm. and do those things that you... you if you have light skin like me, you t you turn red and blush, <laughs> even, even even to mention them. Yeah. Even to mention them. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to successfully resist them, mm -hmm. do not do... That what we did what you did and don't fail to do what we failed to do which and is fight and mm. you know the saddest thing is that the people who call who call themselves the people of the cloth mm. yeah. pastors mm. yeah. ministers of the yeah. gospel they're embracing this particular kind of you know yeah gesture yeah. Yeah. it is so sad and they've and Anglican they've bishops in the West, uh, not in Africa, they resisted mm -hmm. in Africa. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and they I commend did. them. Yeah. They did. I'm not talking about them. Mm -hmm. They did. I'm, I look up to them. Yeah. But in the West, they're they're not only not resisting it, mm -hmm. they're ordaining these. Yes, yeah. they are. They're there promoting was, it. There was, a case, there was a case the other day of a woman who had refused to bake a cake. Was it the woman yes, and the husband? A yeah. wedding, a yeah. wedding cake. They had refused for to bake. a gay couple. Yeah, and the case yeah. is still in court. They, they, they appealed. There was an appeal. Yes, it was that. They lost their home. Imagine They've that. Lost their they did. Business. How sick is that? How can <laughs> goodness? How sick can society be? Um, what will we'll be going on with that? I, 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 I think I also showed you a pic of uh, pastors praying for an yeah, abortion yeah, yeah, clinic, a clinic yes. and they're actually dedicating it to God and saying <laughs> yeah. this is yeah. God's work. That is yeah. blasphemy. How perverted yeah. can this world yeah. ever be? It's very wicked. Goodness. If, if I've learned one thing, I've been arrested mm. in the U.S. over a dozen times. Mm. Uh, never mind the gayism. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, for this issue of trying to speak up for the personhood mm -hmm. and that's yeah. a, a key word yeah. person person the personhood yeah. of mm. these yeah. children yeah mm. and and just by showing the images of what abortion does to a, a baby in the first trimester yeah the second trimester the third trimester in public mm -hmm. yeah in a public arena on a public university yeah or on the streets they will send police and drag you so they jail. don't want you yeah. to do that yeah they don't even want to look at what they've what they've done mm -hmm. but that word person is very key i have a paper here i know this is 
radio, you can't you can't see. <laughs> yeah. But it says, "I am a person." It goes uh-huh. straight from a picture mm-hmm. uh, of this child, uh, a human being, yeah. at the very moment of fertilization. Yeah. Where the the sperm has fertilized the egg. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So a, a single-celled organism. Recall, if we are Christians, yeah, yeah. We say we are Christians, mm-hmm. yeah, right. We believe that God Himself yes. was not ashamed, God yeah. the Son, yeah, to become in that form in the womb of Mary. Right. Mm-hmm. We right. believe that there's no man's sperm who yeah. fertilized her ovum. Yeah. Her ovum was fertilized by God, right? Yeah. And God was not ashamed to be a single celled wow. human being wow. in the womb of Mary. Mm-hmm. Wow. So we can't dehumanize this mm. person and more specifically in our constitutions, yeah. in our in our in the defense that these people need from mm-hmm. the law, the equal mm. defense they deserve. Right. Like you enjoy, like yeah. I enjoy. Yeah. Someone might murder you, someone yeah. might murder me. Yeah. But at least Hypothetically, theoretically, legally, as yeah. persons, yeah. as legal persons, mm-hmm. we yeah. have the right to defense, yeah. to defend ourselves, yeah. and to uh, uh, that person to be charged with with some form of homicide Very if true. they kill us. Very true. And we should do the same for these children. Fantastic. If, if we are Christian. Fantastic. Well, we are here with William O'Toole. Now I got that, and he's teaching us so much more about j- just generally making sure that we're not embracing the dirt from the West. I'm sorry to use that word, the West, because it's a lot of clamor, it's a lot of dirt, it's a lot of mess up, and Kenya is slowly trying to buy into that. So thankfully we have him in the studio in case you have any questions, any contribution. This is a chance for you to learn, and this is a chance for us to speak to Kenya and Africa and say, you know what, we should not allow ourselves to waste like that. We should not allow them to come and pour garbage to us. We have a sense of, of personhood right. and we That's respect right. personhood. Well, we'll be right back right now. This one is Eunice and Jerry with the song Tamberare. Go tell somebody to tell somebody that we are in session and that you're going to learn a lot. It's now 5.30 p.m. with the Ricky Housing Cooperative Society. Well, yes, sir, you can only be here on 90.7 Truth FM if you are hearing this sound and, of course, enjoying fantastic music. This is Truth Express with myself, Wavinio, and Yasin, the Queen's Mike. And, of course, myself, Daniel Anunda on the King's Mike. In the company of Mr. and Mrs. William O'Toole. And, hey, I'm telling you, we are learning quite a lot. In fact, he's just given us a flyer of uh, a picture of a seven-week-old baby from conception. What do you see, you know, Daniel Anunda? I, I look at this picture and my heart bleeds, actually. Mm. And thinking about the many people who go for abortion, killing. It is actually death. It is not even a, a, a soft death. Mm-mm. It's no. a torture, no. massacre, torture. killing. It's torture. Decapitating. It's just, it, it is just crazy. Yeah. If you are listening to us and perhaps you're pregnant... Uh, by, by let's just say by mistake you don't have to, to go the way of abortion Mm-mm. you don't have to go the way of abortion there's usually an option for you yeah you know because abortion is killing it shouldn't even it be a killing. thought it you, shouldn't even be a it shouldn't and, the, and and organizations that, that are supporting abortion we have them in Kenya. So many operating. They are flagged in. I was so surprised to find them listed in insurance companies, actually. Yeah. You know, one of them being a big one. And I'm not going to be scared of this because people know, mm. you know, but one of those that brags and even talks about what they do, the Mary Stops well, and all that. Well, we known. actually discussed that. They're very well known. And it's very sad that you're looking at, what are you seeing, Anunda? You know, because somebody would think I'm such a pro-life advocate. This is a seven-week-old picture, or seven-week-old baby. That's the picture. Mm. What what do you see? I see a baby, a full-grown baby. I see some eyes, the, the, the ears, the hands, the legs. I mean, the, everything that pertains a human being. Exactly. And, there. and the doctor will tell you that this is just a blob of tissue. Are you seeing tissue there? No. Interesting. Otto, just, just run us through. We were talking about the I am, the personhood. And you were showing us a few of, you know, from, from the very beginning. Yeah, it's, you it's, know? Not, it's not an accident. On these cards, we have put I am mm. a person. Mm. And it's not an accident that we've used that phrase I am. Mm. Because according to what all Christians supposedly believe, mm. although many don't act like it, we believe that the I am, the mm-hmm. one who spoke out of that burning bush wow. to Moses, mm-hmm. became, was not ashamed to become even a single-celled human being yeah. wow. in the womb of Mary. Mm. I'm talking about the miracle of the incarnation. Mm-hmm. When that ovum, that egg yeah. inside of Mary was fertilized not by a human man, mm. 
but by a miracle, by the Holy Spirit mm-hmm. overshadowing her. Right. So if God was not ashamed to be that, we should give a voice to that child. Amen. Amen. A, a little infant who gets abandoned in, in a ditch mm-hmm. somewhere, at least even that infant has a voice. You yeah. know? He can he can at least cry. You know, mm. you might pass by. Mm-hmm. I've I've met people who were who were found that way yeah. because mm. the mother abandoned them yeah, in a ditch. Yeah. And it that is less cruel than mm. abortion. Maybe someone could even pass by they hear that yeah. Yeah. coming yeah. from the ditch. Yeah. You, see? Yeah. Yeah. you see, but these children up to birth, they don't even have that voice. Yeah. Solomon, the prophet, the son of David, commands in Proverbs thirty one, before he talks about the the good wife, yeah. the good woman, mm. the Proverbs thirty one woman, he, he commands the young, the mother of Solomon commands mm-hmm. A young king mm. to do this. She says, Proverbs thirty-one eight. Open your mouth, wow. O my son, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. for the dumb, for those who cannot speak for themselves. Wow. Open your mouth in the cause of those who are appointed to be destroyed. Yeah. And judge righteously mm. and plead the cause mm-hmm. of these poor and needy. There's no human being who mm. fits that category. Let's just get like that, these uh, this, that reference again. Mm. Proverbs thirty-one, mm-hmm. verse eight. Open your mouth for those who can't speak for themselves. Mm-hmm. So we're trying to give. By saying, I am a person, and showing the images of these children when yeah. they are killed and also when they are healthy, yeah. growing in the womb. Yeah. We're trying to give a voice to mm. these people who don't have a voice. Mm. And they deserve the same defense that you and I have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The preborn, mm. let me say it this way. A friend of mine coined it this way. Mm. My friend Chuck Spingola, he <laughs> said years ago, the preborn deserve the same defense as yes. the born. Yes. Yes. So while, while this is an issue that relates to the gospel, which is close to the heart of all Christians, right. there's another ministry, the mm. ministry of the law, which is also a biblical ministry, right. distinct from the gospel. Right. Paul says that the, the governing authorities bear the sword not in vain. Mm-hmm. But to punish evil and reward good, right? Yeah, yeah. That's in yeah. Uh, Romans 13. Mm-hmm. And these children need uh, not the ministry of the gospel. They need that, like yeah. everyone does. Yeah. But in order to hear the gospel, you have to be alive, right? Yeah, yeah. They need the defense from the ministers of government, the right. same as you enjoy, the right. same as I enjoy. Right. We never eliminate rape. Mm-mm. We never eliminate murder. Mm-mm. But we don't condone it. Yeah. And we don't uh, facilitate it. Very true. And that's what these Marie Stopes, yeah. and by the way, she, the woman yeah. after whom that organization is named, Marie Stopes, was a wicked witch. Oh she was a eugenicist. Yeah. She preached eugenics, which is a fake, discredited science. Yeah. So-called science, yeah. not a real science. Yeah. But she preached it around the time my grandmother was born, 1917, mm-hmm. was the heyday of Marie Stopes mm-hmm. and women like Margaret Singer, the founder of yeah. Planned Parenthood mm-hmm. International. Mm-hmm. They were contemporaries, and they, and many of their contemporaries, including Adolf Hitler, mm-hmm. The Nazi leader, Adolf Hitler, Marie yeah. Stopes, was a big fan. She wrote love letters to him. Oh, my goodness. They, that's the fact. That's a historical fact. They still have the letters she wrote. They were eugenicists. It is a fake science that says that the human race is on tears, right? Mm. And that all the tribes, they're the top tribes, which yeah. are on top of the Darwinian mm. theory of evolution. Mm-hmm. You following me? Yeah. And there's the lower ones. And, yeah. and they normally considered the, you know, sometimes it was Jews, Arabs, yeah. blacks, whoever that, that, at that particular time they considered to be the lower yeah. uh, evolutionary par- races of humanity. They wanted to eliminate them. Yeah. And yet Africans are so naive. Mm. And I'm not, I'm not pointing a finger at you only Africans no. because my own country has done it. Yeah. But we're so naive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're so naive that we've allowed these people even to use her name even though she was an open racist. An open eugenicist who wanted to cull like she was God, yeah. the human herd, yeah. right? Because she ha- they have so much funding, Marie Stopes. Yeah. They come in with all this money mm-hmm. and Africans and African governments see dollars. They oh come my. in to fund health care. Mm-hmm. They do legitimate health care. And in the process, they also do this witchcraft of sterilizing people and of openly, in, the, in defiance of law, yeah. bragging about abortion. My because goodness. you haven't closed the loophole, yeah. the terrible loophole in yeah. the Constitution. And that's the thing. The other thing that we'd bring up, the Constitution, what does it really say? It, it's not clear. You know, mm. when it comes to, 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 to the rights of, of the, the unborn, it actually gives leeway t- for a doctor to determine whether or not a woman requires an abortion. This is the terrible truth that, that most people just don't want to hear. Yeah. But but it's a fact. You mm. know, Jesus said the truth will set you free. Mm-hmm. Right. And you need to hear it. If, 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 if you're enslaved, if I'm enslaved to sin or you're enslaved to sin, yeah. uh, we, need, we need to be confronted, right? Right. This is an enslavement, a national enslavement to sin. And the way we've justified it is this clause within the Constitution that uh, that says that that life begins at conception I have sat in the offices yes. of some of the some of the more experienced 
uh, lawyers, mm-hmm. constitutional lawyers in mm-hmm. Kenya who are mm-hmm. very familiar with your new, co- still relatively new constitutional system. Right, right. They say that almost means nothing. Yeah. Because that's the because thing. personhood is what gives you rights. Yeah. Personhood is what gives you the the right to defense mm. under the law. Mm-hmm. So to throw in a clause like that is just like a bone thrown to the Christian masses mm-hmm. to salve their consciences. Yeah. To put a salve mm. on the conscience so they feel okay, we've covered that basis yeah, we've when in covered. reality we've not covered that basis Anything because we've not all. granted personhood. The key is it's it's illegal for me to go and murder an innocent person unless right. I'm defending my life in which case it's not an innocent person right I'm defending my life or another innocent person's life yeah right but when you don't specifically either amend the constitution or, or some I don't I'm not prescribing yeah what what should be done but something should be done should be done to grant and recognize yeah by the way God is the one who grants personhood mm-hmm. yeah but but human governments should align themselves with God and recognize the personhood of these children and because of that health exception people think that means Mm -hmm. the health exception in the Kenyan constitution Mm -hmm. people assume Mm. people assume and it's bad to assume that it means that the woman is going to die like an ectopic pregnancy Mm -hmm. that is not the case that is not the the case. case the word health if you look in the dictionary if you ask anyone it's a very broad definition it mm. could mean anything as trivial mm. as this girl will be stressed and she might miss her uh, her her exams mm. or oh she might goodness. not be able to finish uh, secondary oh, no. this year you oh, see because no. she'll have to give that is a affects your health your psychology affects your health wow. and it doesn't even say a doctor not that that would be right yeah. but it says any trained health professional that could be a nurse an EMT so literally there's no board to to adjudicate is oh this an ectopic goodness. is this there there the, the, the really moment a doctor becomes willing yeah. to take advantage of that because the, he want he or she wants to line their pockets with money yeah or because they have that eugenics agenda that yeah. they've been brainwashed with yeah. like yeah. Marie Stopes yeah. they can do it and yeah. the police really their hands have been tied yeah. because of there's not public outcry mm-hmm. yeah. to get parliament or whatever has to be done My goodness to get to grant personhood or to recognize let me yeah. not say grant i take yeah. that back yeah to recognize the yes. god-given personhood right. of human beings before they are born yeah okay wow i'm telling you that yeah. is amazing those amazing in- insights about abortion and the act of uh killing these children the babies in the womb we just have to stand in as christians especially really really christians who are real you know we have wannabe christians who pretend to be christians who have a form of godliness Mm. but you do not you you deny god himself Mm. so we really need to have people who can stand boldly and say this is wrong we don't need to do this we're going to take a short break and of course we'll be back shortly as we continue with this particular conversation and discussion and of course he's going to tell us why why did he decide to get into this particular road of advocating against uh, abortion? And of course, I am a person. I am a person. Fantastic. Keep it here. Well, and that right there is your traffic courtesy of Daniel Alunda Sandasana. And we're thanking God for you. Thank you for keeping us company all through. This is, of course, Truth Express 90.7 Truth FM. My name is Malvenia Wanyasa on the Queen's Mic. And, of course, and of course, myself, Daniel Anunda. And, of course, I'm Jonathan O'Toole. All O'Toole. right. O'Toole. 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 What's the spelling of the word, the name O'Toole? O apostrophe capital T O O L E. O'Toole. Yeah. It's, like it's from O'Toole. the Irish language. <laughs> okay. <It means> <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. She was saying O'Toole. Was <laughs> it's, it's not English. It looks like that Lua name. <laughs> O'Toole. O'Toole. Yeah, but it, that's okay. <laughs> okay, it's fine. For the longest time, I'd say O'Toole. <laughs> I mean, oh, wow. But We've not had a voice. Yeah, oh, we need to. Mm. My wife yes, is here. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's just move the mic a little bit closer. Are you afraid of the mic? This is the, they say be behind every strong man there's a beautiful stronger woman. Yeah. So she's a stronger woman. Let her <laughs> let her tell <laughs> tell us what her name is. I'm Jinwan Boy Otol. Okay. Ah, yeah. she said it well. Mm, wow. she, uh, she has she has to, she has to. You've got to. You've got a fantastic. Now I I, I just want to ask you a quick question. Just a quick one. Just a quick one, a small one. You just, just. How has the journey been? You know, your husband is in this walk. You know, are are you part of the team? How is it? How has it been? Yeah, I'm a part of the team. Mm-hmm. At least I've been helping with my husband, mm-hmm. uh, going to school. Yes. Uh, talking about abortions. Yeah. And I'm proud of that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. 
We find sometimes the the young ladies they they relate a little bit more relaxedly okay. to another to another woman. Yes, yes, yes. Them. That's yeah. the thing. That's yeah. the thing. And that's fantastic. And this you actually get to do in Nakuru. You said is it in Nakuru? and around Nakuru? We, Nakuru. We, we haven't even begun to come close to saturating there. So wow. I would love to. I would love to hit every secondary school in Kenya if God would help. It's important. That's amazing. Would and really and important. we have just and begun the journey. Even before, yeah, yeah. The, we've just begun the journey, and I know sky is not the limit. So let's just again get back to this. In case you're joining us, we mm. are speaking to Mr. William O'Toole and his wife Jane O'Toole, and it's all about you know the Project C how it is that we actually export evil and one of the evils that we're importing especially in africa uh, for free actually is it for free we're actually being paid to 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 get being import paid. crazy mm-hmm. stuff one of those is is abortion you know and the lie has been sold to several women that what they're carrying is not worth defending and that's why we're calling out to christians if you understand not only christians anybody listening because i don't want i don't want to believe that it's just christians listening i'm sure probably there's a muslim somewhere we've got people from india we've mm-hmm. got people from dubai yeah. who listen to us so we've got a lot an array of people so let me call out to the human conscience how it was made originally for us to have a heart toward those that we are supposed to defend especially the little ones in the womb and that's what we were touching on we touched on the constitution and we see that there's a necessity for us to cause an outcry for the probably an amendment i mean i've been thinking about that for days because if it doesn't make sense then what clause is it anyway mm-hmm. so we need to call out for something and that means we need to come together and our mandate as the children of god is to do exactly that doesn't the bible say that i've called you kings and priests so what is the work of kings and priests mm. so that's what we are talking about so engage us a little bit father on what we've been discussing to, to me the work of kings is a great question the work of kings yeah. is to enforce the law with Perfect. justice yes. without respect of persons that's yes. what the bible calls respect of persons right and respect of persons means uh, i'm not going to give the rich man yeah or the big man yeah uh more justice than i give the small yes. man or, yes. the, or, the, or the child yes. or the orphan or the widow and god is because god is the defender yes at a certain point those those law enforcement agents who do that yes um uh, you know, God. God has a contention with them. Yes. And who can contend with God Almighty, right? Who can? It's for true. years, I want to bring this up. For years, mm. I've had uh, a news alert set up in my email accounts mm-hmm. for when the word abortion and the word Kenya comes mm. up, and it's usually in Kenyan media, sometimes mm-hmm. international. Yeah. When they come up together, for the better part of ten years. Yeah. And you know, someone said that um, you know repetition is the lifeblood. Mm. of propaganda Mm. no matter how irrational or illogical something is if you repeat it enough times in enough ways with the right images the right sound the Mm. right rhythm in your voice Mm. you can convince another person yeah. is not really on guard mm-hmm. of yeah. just about anything yeah just about anything yeah. and every time it comes up mm. almost 95 percent of the times it comes up uh, at least every other day in my yeah. email inbox for all these years yeah it's these western ngos or other western organizations right. or western governments yeah. pushing a line whether it's marie stopes or planned parenthood or right. you fill in the blank yeah united nations family planning yeah whoever it is they have been, especially the past seven years, using mm. this tactic of talking about maternal deaths yeah. due to abortion. And I, I that's why I want to tackle that directly right r- now. Right. Maternal deaths. Yes. First of all, the words themselves, maternal. Mm-hmm. Maternal comes from the Latin mm-hmm. mater, mm-hmm. which is mother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just means mama, mother. Mm-hmm. So they never address, they use that word maternal, but they never address of whom mm-hmm. is she the mother. Right. Because they don't want to recognize the person of that, the personhood of that child. Wow. So the maternal, talking about maternal deaths due to abortion is like, uh, what if we talked about pater- if the father killed the son? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, would that be, or if the son killed the father? Mm-hmm. Or a brother killed a brother, would mm-hmm. that be uh, frater- a fraternal, mm-hmm. a fraternal death due to fratricide? You get my point. You would never, you would never respond to that if a brother killed a brother by saying, "Ah, this that brother should have been able to kill his brother. Mm. Cain should have been able to kill Abel yeah. in a safer environment." I know. Because Goodness. Abel might have hit back. Oh my. Uh, Cain might have struggled. He might have gotten scratched. Yeah. He might have even died. Yeah. Mm. You know, when a man tries to rape a woman, mm. usually yeah. he gets away with it if no one is there to defend. But yeah. what if she scratches him? Mm. What if she fights back effectively? Yeah. What if her brother hears? Yeah. Would that be uh, now a tragic? Uh, death of a man due to a uh, an unsafe rape 
Uh, mm. Should we respond to that by you get my point I by, get by your trying point. to make rapes more safe? It's kind of sanitizing yeah. it. And to sanitize it, yes, we should try to avoid yeah. these teenage pregnancies. Yes, yes. we should educate. Yeah. But that is beside the point. You never eliminate. Yeah. Even in the best of societies, yeah. until kingdom come, you yeah. never eliminate rape. You never eliminate murder. Yeah. You never eliminate, uh, you know, because men will always, somewhere, sometime, Fall. beat their wives yeah. or children. Yeah. Does it mean we should make it happen in a protected and safe no, environment? No, no, not no. No, there should be a deterrent. Yeah, there's, there's nothing like safe domestic violence. There I'm isn't. getting right, you. Right, I'm you know, people would you laugh. Completely. People say, you are crazy. Yeah, but yeah. when you have enough money, yeah. you can pay for the advertisement and you can pay for the access to newspapers mm. and you can literally put people on newspapers if you don't own the newspaper mm. you hear what i'm saying mm -hmm. some of these newspapers are owned yeah. by eugenicists like marie stopes oh, people who have inherited her yeah. her tradition yeah. in uk in london or yeah. in my country yeah. or, or in europe yeah or in canada mm. and and they own the newspapers mm. in some cases or they can pay for access or literally be if the salaries are too small, mm. <laughs> the way you buy chai for the police officer, they yeah. can be buying chai mm. uh, and a lot more <laughs> yeah. for these editorial boards. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. It's very sad. But that, that's such a highlight right there. Yeah. You cannot sanitize rape. Um, somebody brought that up, and I think it's very good to talk about it. Mm. We've got a lot of rape going on, right? Mm. But you never hear someone saying, okay, let's make it safe by distributing you know what I mean, the condoms, yeah. so mm. that even if they rape the ladies, they're not going to get pregnant or diseases and all that. Right. No, it's madness. Right. I get your point. So how is it that abortion can be safe when it ends up with one person dying? No Christian, no person of goodwill. And by the way, you, you mentioned Muslims. The Quran is very clear. I'm not, yeah. I'm not a Muslim, but the Quran is very clear mm. that the God of Abraham uh, created that child yeah. in the womb and yeah. that the life is sacred also. Mm -hmm. But no, no person should desire... The, the, I, anyone to suffer or yeah. to die. Yeah. But having said that, when there's an inherent justice, and I don't say this to be cruel, mm -hmm. but when people die in the attempt to kill an innocent person, mm -hmm. especially an innocent child, yeah. an innocent child, yeah. if you try to kill an innocent child yeah. and you die in the process, there's an inherent poetic justice mm -hmm. in that. God says, be not deceived. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God is not mocked. He's not in, mocked. It says so in the Bible. Yeah. Whatever a man or a woman mm. sows, mm. that also she shall reap. Now, I don't mm. want people to do this, mm -hmm. but you should know. Yeah. If you try to kill an innocent child, you might die. You might. And that's correct. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Well, we'll be getting back to him. We'll just be summarizing in the next hour. I know it's flipped over to the next hour, but it's just because it's very educative. And I'm hoping you're getting something right now. As Daniel said, if there is somebody contemplating anything, this is just the platform for you to learn, for you to know what it is that you're carrying. It's very important for us to also know that the West's investment here is for them to either get our resources, fool us, and just make us, you know, become cannibals, just kill ourselves, mm. you know, and what happens after that you know so keep it here for news is coming up in just a few all right this is truth fm Yeah, and that is Prayer or Dead with the song Ebezina introducing us to the third hour of Truth Express right here on 90.7 Truth FM. This is the Jesus Station for the Jesus family. Hoping that you're having a wonderful time in the conversation and discussions that we have in this great day. And of course, Slovenia has, you know, this 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 heart for pro-life. And I also, I'm, I'm getting you know, pulled into that because I feel uh, sometimes we look at this thing and we don't really get to think about it so much. But when you get to that point that you see what is happening and you give it a thought, mm. then it really disturbs you. It does. And I think I think everybody is naturally pro-life before they're converted mm. because we are created with human consciences. And if we are created after our father who is against such wickedness, mm -hmm. then naturally inborn, we are pro all pro-life until we allow some conversion of yeah. some sort to face you know to be on the other side amen yeah. amen to that the, the psalms i can't remember the number of the psalms mm. maybe you do mm -hmm. the, the psalm that says uh, children are a blessing yeah. from the lord the fruit of the womb mm. is his reward mm. and amen. it likens those children to like arrows in the hands of a mighty wa yeah. warrior blessed yeah. is the one whose quiver is filled with those with arrows those. You see? amen so that that's a, that's a pretty strong statement mm. and there are other parts of scripture 
where it is very clear. It's mm. very clear that God is the one who opens and closes the womb. For mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. when the wife of Jacob, the wife of Israel, Rachel, was, was annoyed and angry with Jacob because she, she had not conceived mm -hmm. for some time. Yeah. And ja ja it says Jacob was angry with her. He said, am I the Lord? He was de not denying her yeah. the marital yeah. duty. He wasn't yeah. denying mm -hmm. sexual yeah. sex yeah. to her. Yeah. Uh, but she, he said, am I the Lord yeah. who opens and closes so the, the womb? womb. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Bible says that God even causes the hinds to calve, the mm -hmm. deer, the, mm -hmm. those gazelles. Mm -hmm. When they're alone, when no one sees them, God sees them, mm. God causes them to bring forth. Wow. And he's been doing that for a long time before mm -hmm. we invented our, our modern forms of contraception. Yeah. We see again in the mm. Pentateuch, in mm. Moses' writing, yeah. we see Onan being killed by God, mm -hmm. specifically one of the sons of Jacob, yeah, yeah, being, yeah. Being, being killed yeah. by the Lord, one yeah. of the few people who's killed directly personally by the Lord in the Bible, including right. in the New Testament, Ananias and Sapphira. Yeah. But one of the few people in the Bible was Onan. Yeah. And he was killed by God specifically for yes. using the old form of contraception, yeah. Yeah. which we call Onanism. I won't describe in yeah. detail on well, the air. Yeah. My, point, my point, my yeah. point being, mm -hmm. yeah, withdrawal, mm -hmm. my point being that God has always been the one who opens and closes yeah. the womb. Mm -hmm. And marriage is sacred to him. Marriage yeah. is a calling, just like being a, a pastor, yeah. mm. being a deacon, being mm. a bishop. It's, mm. it's a holy mm -hmm. calling mm -hmm. to bring forth children. Mm -hmm. That's why he gave us libidos. It's why he gave us, as men, yeah. as women, sexual desire. Yeah. We don't have it, we probably shouldn't marry. Right? Yeah. If we have it, it's the sign yeah. that our Creator is telling us we should try to reproduce. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. And the idea that has infected much of Christianity. Mm. Even Catholics, even though Catholics teach against it, but many of them practice yeah. contraception. Mm. Yeah. I've repented of it. Yeah. I'm not a Roman Catholic. Mm. Yeah. My wife is a Roman Catholic. Mm. I do appreciate the Catholic Church for being fairly consistent Very mm. true. on this point. Yeah. I'm an Orthodox Christian. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's sad that this, that this point is taken as an exclusively culturally Catholic point. For Catholics, Let yeah. me tell you, it's basic to to monotheism. Yeah. Mm. It's basic to all Christians up mm. until about the 1920s. That's not so long ago. Kenyans, mm. uh, especially in East Africans, I've noticed tend to have, there's one cr criticism I can bring. Mm. I normally criticize my own country. Mm. They tend to have a, a short uh, view of history. Mm. They don't see a lot after Madaraka Day, right? Mm. Uh, <laughs> like anything before 1959, right, is yeah. ancient history. Yeah. Well, it, it really hasn't been <laughs> that long uh. since yeah. all Christians knew mm. that contraception was something to be yeah. ashamed of. Yeah. I'm not. A, I'm not afraid to say it. Mm. It's a form of sexual atheism because wow. you're acting like mm. the God who opened the womb of Sarai. The, the wife of Abraham, mm. right. the God who opened mm. the womb of Rachel, yeah. Yeah. the God who opened the womb of Mary, yeah. the God who opened the womb of Elizabeth, mm. is no longer here. He Now he needs yeah. you and your barriers and your chemicals. Oh, By the yeah. way, they're poisons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he needs your help yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, to yeah. do that work. Yeah, it's he's, true. Maybe he's in uh, an early retirement, something yeah. like that. <laughs> it's a lie. It's a lie. And you know, I, I, w I was having this discussion with a certain lady and I was telling her, you call God to take charge of every facet of your life. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to family planning, you take charge. charge. Yeah, yeah, you you take take charge. So what is he oh, anyway? And, and, and what do you hear at, at church most of the time? Oh God, bless me. Bless me. You've got to receive the <laughs> blessing. <laughs> they, 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 they visualize that blessing as like uh, another house, a second house, and there's nobody who's, who's been given a second house. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to say, oh Lord, it's enough. Yeah. One house is enough. No, no, they won't. Oh, receive the blessing, another car. <laughs> receive the blessing, this airline ticket to fly to Europe. You see, no one is saying, oh, enough, enough trips enough. to Europe. Yeah, 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 enough yeah, trips yeah, to yeah, Europe. Yeah. Yeah. But when it's another child, <laughs> Enough. Yeah, enough, yeah. But this we is a human a being within the image of God who will yeah. go mm -hmm. on and on and on. Mm. When that car is dust, mm -hmm. when that when that house is consumed by fire, yeah. wow. this human being, for good or for worse, yeah. Yeah, will, will go on and on and on. Wow. If only people would see that human beings are actually a resource. Yeah. We are just resourceful. Our children will be resourceful to the society. An economic and resource. And it, and it goes and, yeah. on. Mm. And it goes on. It goes yeah. on into the life and to on come. And on a resource and on to praise on. God and enjoy his company forever. Yeah. And I like what you said. Let me just touch on that. That God is in charge. It is evidenced that right now there's no one who has a repeat thumbprint anywhere in the world. What does that tell us? Mm. What does that tell us? Mm. That there is somebody in charge of creation and as you said he doesn't need our help. Mm. He knows what he is he doing. He knows what he's doing. He knows who his children are. He knows, absolutely. And right now we have millions mm -hmm. of thumbprints missing. Millions of generations cut off. 
as a result of, it, of abortion? Well, I think most of the time we, we don't really surrender everything to God. Mm. We say, the Lord, I want you to be the author and the finisher of my life. I want you to be, I mean, take charge of my life. Yeah. But we have reservations. That, Lord, you can take care of this. Yeah. You can lead me in this. Yeah. Yeah. But, but here, this one, I no, 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 I have I'm to, in charge. I'm in charge. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a direct yeah. assault on women. Uh -huh. It is. Women are so powerful. They're so gifted. Mm. They can do these things that that men can't even imagine mm. how to do mm. <laughs> yeah mm. a man yeah yeah this, and now as we wind up because of time now we'd like to ask you how 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 what what really made you the question i had put across the other time what really made you enter into this road and this journey of of pro-life and fighting for these young children that are there but we, we we look at them as if they're not there absolutely we do it's 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 a terrible uh -huh. tragedy and it's a sh it's a shame that we do b but we can't see them they're mm -hmm. in the womb and what really opened my eyes began when I was about eight years old I was living in Salt Lake City Utah mm -hmm. it was is about um, 1988 or 87 and uh, w at that time there was a, a, a vibrant rescue movement in the United States where mm. people were chaining themselves to the doors of abortion clinic. It mm. died, it was defeated, the cost became too high. Uh -huh. But at that time we were there protesting the Planned Parenthood abortion clinic in the middle of Salt Lake City. Mm. Someone threw a bottle, I was standing next to a little girl holding a picture of these babies in Canada who had mm. been thrown in the trash, mm. these beautiful babies. And someone threw a bottle at us and I remember realizing at that young age, mm. this is a war. This yeah. is a battle. Fast forward um, about seven years, mm -hmm. uh, about eight years, I was 17 years old, mm -hmm. this this dog got a hold of my arm. I've got scars, you can't see them, mm -hmm. but you can see them here in yeah, studio. Oh yeah, my yeah, goodness. Yeah. Uh, I almost lost my right arm, uh -huh. and I lost the use of it for over a year. Good lord. A very big dog called a Nikito that's bred in Japan to hunt bears uh -huh. for, the, for the emperor of Japan. Oh my. And uh, there was these dogs that I knew, and they knew me really well. Mm. And anyway, I went into this kennel, but this was not the one that I knew. It, I mistook it for the one I, I knew and was friends with. Yeah. He grabbed me when I was feeding him and tore me up. Oh my I God. can't go into the long story now, yeah. but he really almost killed me. I was all alone. Mm. And God really got a hold of me at that my time. Goodness. I almost bled to death, oh my. and I thought I was going to die. God showed me how to get out of that situation wow. yeah. alone. Wow. And after that, I started visualizing and having these visions mm. of what it's like for that child being pulled apart by the forceps yeah. Yeah. in the womb of a woman. Oh Just like me, you know, I had no I had no knife, I had no gun, yeah. I had no ability There's to... There's no to, way to run. I don't have teeth like a you. dog, mm. you know? And, and this child is just being torn limb from uh. limb from limb mm. in the womb of a woman. And I began to emotionally mm. associate with that child. Yeah. And I wish, mm. I wish I could convey that yeah. to every Christian I meet. Mm. Yeah. That, they, that they could empathize, not yeah. just sympathize, but empathize yeah. with the child who's yeah. being slaughtered in the womb. Yeah. And it's, it's not just a woman's issue, it's a man's issue because the man is a protector. Mm. Mm. Men, mm. it's time for us to give the preborn children the defense they Amen. deserve. Yes. Amen. Amen. You'd, Amen. If someone was trying to tear your innocent uh, toddler apart, man, yeah. I think you would pick up something yeah. and fight. Yes. Yeah. Right? Amen. We should do the same. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Wow. That is so powerful. I, I'm... It I, is. I, I, I think it, if you're there, I'm sure this message has gotten to somebody right there. <coughs> mm -hmm. You're seated down in your house and you're contemplating and you're thinking about doing the wrong thing. Just be bold enough to do the right thing. Thing. Just imagine you, you are there. Yeah. What if your mother mm. decided to abort you mm. before you were born? Mm. Where would you be right now? Yeah. You know what I say is there are a lot of songs that are not going to be sung, mm -hmm. a lot of books that are not going to be written, a lot of uh, pulpits that will miss pastors yeah. because those destinies have been aborted. So it any time an abortion happens, mm -hmm. a generation, a destiny, a purpose, a calling, is killed. Wow. Miles Monroe said the same thing. He was the seventh child, I believe, the tenth, I think. And he said, if his mother aborted him, we would not be getting the words, we would not be getting the literature, we'll not be getting the inspiration yeah. that is there. So that's why he was totally against abortion, because he knew that abortion was against purpose and destiny. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I think we're in line spiritually, because I just shared that on my Facebook page about four hours ago, mm. the trauma, the horror. And I got 
people to picture themselves in a situation where you're closed in a room and tear gas. Let's even start with tear gas. It's mm -hmm. thrown in, but you cannot run out. And then toxic fumes are thrown and you're trying to struggle to breathe for air. That slow, bitter, terrible death, that's it. Or somebody dismembering you. I just share that because it was really piercing my soul. Mm. And I thought, Lord, how else will people get to know unless they can relate to what is really happening in the mercy. room. God have mercy. Thank you so much for having made time for us today. Oh. Thank you so much, William. Thank you so much, Jane. Oh, thank you. You don't 